Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and welcome to Not Ferrari Fretworks. Alas, it is a Monday, but I'm going to do a video anyway because if you follow John May on Instagram, you may well have seen this video pop up the other day. Pretty much ever since he uploaded that, I've been inundated with comments, people tagging me in the video and on various versions that have been posted on Instagram, asking if I could explain the kind of little tap, kind of bend thing he does. I think people have seen me doing that in various videos. And wanted to know if I had kind of any great insights, not that I've ever had any great insight into anything, to be honest, but any kind of in-depth, you know, look, I guess. Um, at what that is and how he does it. But alas, I was actually beaten to it by the man himself who uploaded a little kind of explanation video, I guess, very briefly to his Instagram story, showing you that little lick. But such as the nature, um, or nature even, of Instagram stories, that's gone already. So I thought it would be cool to have a little bit more of a kind of permanent record on YouTube, just showing you how to play that lick and kind of a little bit more of an you know, in-depth exploration into what it is, what tapping achieves, etc., etc. So without further ado, let's take it away. So, first and foremost, let's have the lick at full speed. So, I think the first kind of key element of understanding this lick is actually knowing which notes you're aiming for. It's very easy to kind of get carried away in the tapping element of it and not really kind of know what you're aiming for. So, first things first, we're going to be bending up from your E note on your ninth fret of your G string up to an F sharp. The first kind of really important thing is making that sure, making sure that bend is really kind of perfectly pitched and on point. Also on point, sorry, millennial. Um, not or conversely, it's really got to kind of be solid, and I would say probably no vibrato to be honest, given what's going to happen next. Um, so that's the first thing we're aiming for is an F sharp. Going to be actually then aiming with the tap for an A. Before going back down to an A flat. For a little run of A flat, G flat, E. But obviously when you tap it, it doesn't kind of look anything like that. So, as I said, we're going to bend from your ninth fret on your G string. For tapping onto that A, it's weird. As much as you're tapping what in essence should be a G note, obviously because the note is bent up a whole step, you're essentially tapping a whole step above that, which means you're tapping an A. Again, in regard to tapping, kind of whichever finger works for you. I'm using my index, you can use your you know, kind of second finger, you can use your nose if you want, it doesn't really matter. As long as it gets tapped, that's cool. This is kind of where the tricky bit of the element, uh, tricky bit of the lick rather lies, I guess, is then sliding down. But it's not just a case of sliding, at the same time, you're actually gonna bend back up with your third finger on your left hand. So you get that kind of very, kind of momentary micro microtonal, I guess. kind of little thing like that again which is where the kind of key element of this lick really lies before again another kind of little microtonal bend back up before releasing it down and then the last kind of little thing you want to be worried about is actually flicking off the note with your index finger or whichever finger you've used to tap so Landing obviously on your E. Yeah, I'm not sure which finger I find it easier with, to be honest. Probably my index, just because I feel I've got a little bit more control over it. And that's it. Alternatively, you could always bend the notes to pitch, which, depending on your kind of background, if you familiar with bending it might be a little bit easier like me it might be a little bit more difficult but if you were to do that again it's a little bit of a strange one because you're going to be bending up the same note 
before actually moving your third finger up to the 11th fret and bending up four frets up to an A. Before kind of releasing that initial bend very slightly, down to an A flat. Again, before that kind of little microtonal thing. Landing on your E. But given the kind of whole point of this lick, I guess, is that it's tapped. That's probably the way to go. There we go. I hope that was of some use to you. Please do subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of fun YouTube stuff. And uh, I shall see you on Friday for Friday Fretworks. Cheers, guys. Take care.